So just a quick phone vlog today, guys. Something kind of I wanted to talk about. It. It's been on my mind for a while, but I was reminded of it again today. I saw a former coworker of mine back when I still had a regular full-time job before COVID. So a lot of you guys, if you've been following the channel for a while, you guys know that since COVID, I have not worked a regular job. I've just been working for myself as a YouTuber, making video content. You know, that's kind of been my my full-time job. It was a side hustle for years, you know, when I worked a regular job and then the side hustle just became the regular job after COVID uh, because of the lockdown. Plus the large retailer that I was working for at the time, I was a HR supervisor at a large retail uh, store. And uh, this retailer was struggling about to file bankruptcy before COVID. So I, I didn't want to hang around through COVID because I, I saw the writing on the wall. I kind of knew you know, I was gonna probably lose my job. They were gonna start cutting a lot of positions, especially the better paying positions. And I figured you know, my position was kind of in jeopardy anyway. So when COVID hit, you know, I went ahead and uh, resigned anyway. And I just started making videos full time. And you know, in the last four and a half years since COVID, I've noticed something that the world has changed. The world has changed drastically as far as how we treat jobs and full time jobs, especially nobody works the same job for 30 years anymore that used to be the norm like with my parents and especially my grandparents everyone their age they went to work at the age of 18 and they worked somewhere for at least 30 years to get full retirement and sometimes they worked past 30 years they worked for the same company 40 years sometimes 50 years that was normal you went to work for a company these uh, companies they gave you good pay they gave you good benefits and you were afraid to lose your job because it was worth it to have that job you were secure a man back in the 1960s 1970s could go work at a factory or a paper mill you know a, a good job like that and earn enough money to take care of him his wife his kids, the wife wouldn't have to work, right? It was a single income household back then. You know, so no one quit their job. Everybody respected their job. Everybody respected their boss. Even their, even if your boss was a complete and total asshole, you know, like you wouldn't, you would never dream of quitting your job. We live in a totally different world now. Uh, really, obviously since COVID, people don't treat jobs the same because so many people had, you know, if you've ever been treated poorly at a job where these days jobs just see you as a number, you're just an employee, they really don't respect you in any way and they're quick to throw you away. So now these days, you know, the employees are quick to throw the employer away. Like we're not afraid to quit, right? Many people will take a job and work it for, you know, six months and then quit, especially once it becomes apparent that the employer is kind of an a-hole or, you know, you're never going to get promoted or the job is just kind of a crappy job. Nobody holds a job for long term anymore. We live in much more of a different kind of economy now. It used to be more of a manufacturing base economy, which was a typically good paying jobs. Now everything is more service based. It's more everybody works in food. Everybody works in retail. You know, nobody really has those good kind of paying manufacturing jobs anymore the manufacturing industry in the U.S. has been in total shambles. Really, since the 1980s, it has gone downhill to where, you know, there's those jobs just don't exist like they used to anymore. And nowadays, everybody wants to work for themselves. You saw this, obviously, with the rise of content creators. Content creation has really changed the game in a big way. I also think some of the ride sharing services like Uber and Lyft, you know, people can just be their own boss. I don't need to go, you know, be a taxi driver for a company. I can actually just be a taxi driver for myself, essentially. Obviously, you're more of a, like, you're being a subcontractor with a, a company like Lyft or Uber, but still essentially you're your own boss, right? You don't have some direct supervisor that's you know, just always on your butt about, you know, whatever. And that's a different world and I kind of like it. You know, we've really kind of turned the tables on corporations, on employers, and now you, know, you can take control of your life. I love being a full-time content creator. No longer am I restricted and how far I can go in anything. I'm responsible for all of my success 
all of my failures. You know, when I worked a real job, I had coworkers, and sometimes you would be held back from those around you because a lot of people that I worked with were not, they didn't have a strong work ethic. A lot of people are just lazy. They have, they have no ambition. They have no drive. They have no will to succeed. And you know, there's a lot of people that are just living life just living life. They really have no plan. You know, like if you go and ask most people, what is your five year plan? They will look at you like you're crazy. Like they haven't even thought five days from now, much less five years from now. Right. And, and you, it's very hard if you're the kind of ambitious person, somebody that's striving for success and you're working with essentially a bunch of losers in life. And especially when some of those losers in life actually are your bosses. <laughs> like they're the ones that are above you at your company. And obviously those kinds of people, when they see you, they resent you in a lot of ways. If you're one of these hard workers, these ambitious people, and they know that they're not quite like that, you, you really show them up in some ways. You show them everything that is wrong with them and they will hate you for it. They will make sure that they will knock you down a few pegs. You're never going to get promoted at that job. In some ways, sometimes they'll even try to sabotage you in such a way to get you fired from that job. Right? We've all dealt with this. Anybody that's ever worked for a large corporation or a large company and had to deal with a lot of the, the politics that goes on with these companies, you know, it's just not worth it. At some point, you know what? I'll be responsible for myself. I'll go and, and do the thing myself. And that's what I can do with a job like being a content creator, which you guys, some of you guys are doing with things like Uber and Lyft and other things. Uh, people that own property now, you know, with Airbnb, you can just, you know, rent out your properties. Everybody is trying to basically be their own company and be their own boss. Nobody wants to work a 30 year job anymore. That's just not what we do. And in some ways, I think it's a negative because I, I, I wish we all had those opportunities where we could go and work a job for 30 years and, you know, a family could live on one income. Obviously, we don't live in that world anymore where people go and work that job for 30 years and you just, you work one job your whole life and then you retire. I, I, a lot of it too probably has to do with the fact that we live longer now on average you know uh, average uh, lifespan now it, people are living on average till nearly 80 years old now where that was obviously not the case in the 1950s 1960s people died much younger not only did they die much younger but people got old really quickly like a 40 year old man in 1970 looked like he was probably a 60 year old man now, right? We take much better care of ourselves uh, as far as, you know, medicine and, you know, we don't work those really dangerous jobs uh, back in the day, you know, like all those manufacturing jobs, they didn't take safety seriously. A lot of people died on the job. A lot of people got seriously hurt on the job. Uh, as far as health, uh, people smoked a lot more back then than they smoke now. Like we know a lot more about health and what causes serious health problems now than we did in the past. So I think that's part of you know how things have changed. And one of the things I love with the, the content creation jobs, so things like YouTube and TikTok, or even those of you doing audio podcasts, podcasting is huge. There's money to be made there. And this is the kind of content anybody can do. A lot of people, when it comes to good paying jobs, you are limited. Many of them require a degree. If you don't have that college degree in that field, you can't get that job. Or they require experience of you doing that job. If you don't have experience, they won't hire you. Many people, especially older people, if you, you have a few years behind you, you imagine you're too old to start some professions. Well, guess what? You're never too old to start making audio or video content. You're never too old to start a YouTube channel. I am 47 years old <laughs> doing YouTube. You know, a lot of people imagine that you have to be like an 18, 19 year old hot chick to do YouTube to make any real money. And that's not the case. That's not the case at all. Uh, there are a lot of older people, and I'm talking about older people like 50 years old, 60 years old, 70 years old. You know, there are a lot of people that watch YouTube 
that are older people and you know what they like to watch yeah they like to watch the hot 18 year old girl too <laughs> don't, don't, don't get me wrong but they also like watching people their age they want to watch people that are a little older and honestly young people sometimes want to watch videos by people that are a little older because if you're a little older guess what you have some wisdom you have some experience a lot more wisdom than younger people do right and they typically watch young people for the entertainment value because young people are typically silly and they act funny on camera but if you actually want to learn something from somebody typically you want to go watch somebody that's got a few years on them right so if you're one of these people especially older people that you you've been thinking about doing a side hustle like youtube for example go do it it's worth it and, and it's not like there will ever be too much audio content or too much video content there will never be a time to where there's just too much content and you can't you know join the party with the rest of us that are making videos on YouTube plus everybody has different experiences everybody has different expertise in different areas so I strongly advise any of you guys any of you guys if you've thought about starting a YouTube channel man do it I mean what is the worst outcome the worst outcome is you'll make a few videos and you'll realize it's hard and you don't like it and you'll quit okay you're not really out any serious time maybe you put in a few hours before you realize okay you know what I don't want to do this but many of you guys will probably fall in love with it like I did and you may make a few bucks along the way even if it's not life-changing amounts of money if it pays a bill or two every month right it is worth it in the end anyway I'm just a ramble today guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video peace